keep it secrets to different bills. Hey, don't go dim it, you need it, I got it listed, yeah. You wanna make it, I'll show you just how to make it, yeah. I got all the rarest bills, and I ain't done, yeah. I'm from the finish to making bills like a prospect. Flow space and slashes to catching us with a lot threat. You keep the medals, cause the real ones coming up next. Only scratch the surface, still they try to drag my name in dirt, they try to bring me down. See me when you ain't like Yo, what's good, my nephews and nieces? This is your favorite uncle, Uncle Demi, and today I have another special banger for you, right? Today we have Colin Sexton, Replica Build Young Bull. Now, before we get into the video, though, make sure you drop a like and subscribe, liking up the video or push the video to the and, and of course, subscribe and put you a note game for my uploads. But now let's hop straight into this video, okay? So we're talking about Colin Sexton's Replica, okay? Now, I'm not going to lie. This is the one to be the best replica guard replica build thus far when it comes to just straight offense we're not talking about defense but from a straight offensive standpoint you're not going to find a better replica build than this okay reason being is because colin saxon is a very low overall and i speak about this all the time low overall players you have way much more free will to be able to move attributes around to get some very godly numbers but also on top of that his numbers are right at the point to where he's average but he's almost really good so it's like it's the perfect storm of a really crazy replica build. So let's talk about it. Point guard, right-handed, number two, okay? Um, height, we're going 6'2". Drop it down to 190. 6'7", wingspan. Body shape doesn't really matter, but I'm probably... I'm comfortable going with defined. I'll go with defined, but you can go any body shape you want, all right? Now, check this out and tell me if these numbers ain't insane, all right? So we're going to go 88 on the close shot, all right? Now, the 88 close shot, the big thing here is since you are 6'2", Giant Slayer Hall of Fame, Fearless Finisher are going to be the most important badges here. Then your layup goes all the way up to an 89. So you get Slithery Finisher on gold. Very, very critical here, okay? But now you get the gold Slithery Finisher, and then you also get an 80 Driving Dunk, which will give you Limitless Takeoff on Silver and also 22 total finishing badges total i mean it's very very toxic man and then you top it off with acrobat on gold you're able to get all these badges i'm telling you this build is insane and i kept on looking at it like yo how in the heck is this being pulled off but when you see these things it, like stage players will use this build because there's nothing that, that, that it's, it's, it's crazy you get an 81 mid-range shot right 81 mid-range shot will give you mini magician hall of fame okay and that's the big one there then you get to go all the way up to 92 on the three ball. So we all know how critical that is because now that gives you Volume Shooter Hall of Fame. It gives you Green Machine Hall of Fame. It gives you Amped Hall of Fame. It gives you Limitless on gold, Blinders on gold, Agent 3s on gold, right? You have every badge that you need to literally dominate at the three-point line and be able to finish at the basket. You get 25 total here. So this build can finish at the basket well and it can shoot. Now check this out. Pass accuracy goes all the way up to an 83, okay? Then you get a 92 ball handle with an 80 speed with ball. You get 24 bash points to work with. Now look at this. Get your clamp breaker on gold. Get your um, unpluckable on gold. You get Hall of Fame quick first step. You get your handles on days on silver. And then, of course, you get your hyperdrive on Hall of Fame. Now, this is the critical part, though. The 92 ball handle allows you to get the Trey Young um, size up. Again, we all know how OP Trey Young size up is for my ball handlers. So you get a 92 ball handle, a 92 three ball, an 80 driving dunk for quick drops, an 89 driving layup, which will give you not only, of course, we know that um, Zach Levine is the best layup package, but you get a gold slithery finisher. And then on top of that, you get your Giant Slayer on Hall of Fame, you get your Acrobat on gold, you get your, uh, your Limitless on silver, which you need to have Limitless at least on silver to activate your quick drops. So again, as you see from the offense standpoint, it's a juggernaut. Defensively, again, nothing here to the, the flack about, but you still get a 70 perimeter defense, which is decent. 35 steal, 27 block, just a 35 offensive rebound, and a 34 defensive. So again, nothing crazy here, but as we all know, most players, they sit in the corner, right? So you sit in the corner and, and cook up. And then your speed, get this all the way up to an 85, which we only need a 75, but you get an 85 here, which is dope. And then we all get the coveted 90 accelerations you get a 90 acceleration with this build too you get the 51 um strength 76 vert and of course you finish with the 90 stamina so tell me right now if this is not the best replica build on the game literally stage players use something similar to this very similar okay 
rec players, pro am players, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm running like listen, like they don't want to play. There's no need to play defense on your small guard, right? You sit corner, right? This build right here is absolutely insane. The replica name by itself, Young Bull, is insane, but the build by itself is insane, right? So you have options here. You have slashing, you have shot creating, you have sharp, and you have playmaking. Obviously, the two most OP is going to be easy blow buys and limitless range. So that's what we're rocking with. But you could go again. I know a lot of people love doing anchor breaking shots. We also can do double limitless. I know a lot of people like to do that. So it's really up to you about how you want to rock it out. But I like going easy blow buys and limitless range threes. And then here you have it, my nephews and nieces. You're going to see here, like, again, very solid build. And we got shades of some two really good guards, Trey Young and Darius. And of course, I'm not going to AO. Shout out to Kenny. But yeah, here we have it, man. Colin Sexton, Young Bull. Like I'm telling you right now, Young Bull is a really, really good name. Um, but yeah, man, shout out to this goaded build. So what we're going to do is this. We're going to test this build out real quick. We're going to get to 99. Then we're going to get you out of here. So let's go here. Boom. Um, again, we already spoke about this. You want to go here. You want to get your giant slate. Well, there's this. And then your this finisher. That's our 10. Then you want to go ahead, core your slithery. Get your limitless. All right, so that's your six. Go up here and get your giant slayer. And I already told you, see you how you get everything you need. Get everything you need. But then with that last two, go ahead and get aerial wizard for backdoor dunks, put back dunks, lobs, that type of deal. Again, very solid, and you didn't have to utilize no badge points here. Then we go on the shooting side, okay? Go ahead and get our hall of fame. This is where I would say you will go ahead and want to core up. All right. So this is our 10 right now. Because Definitely want to get your limitless on, on limitless, but then let's say, for instance, you then go ahead and core double core your limitless and your blinders. Now, that's if you hit level 40 last season. If you did not, then you have some choices. You need to add your six badge points here, or you can add it to playmaking. We can talk about that in a second. But let's say, for instance, you did hit level 40 last season and you're able to core this and blinders. That means you'll still have 15 badges left over. What I would do is I'll go here. Now you have 13 left over. Remember, you have blinders and limitless cord. You get your amp, you get your volume, and then you get your volume shooter. All right, that's basically everything you need. Then you come down here and ask yourself, do you want to get agent threes? Do you want to get dead eye? All right, you have choices, okay? You have toy this. I would go here though, get the agent threes. So this is what I would do, something similar to this. Even if even if you didn't even have a double cord, didn't, you know, didn't have blinders, you can still go something right here. And then with these last two, I probably would add maybe um comeback kid right um or something like that but yeah we're still i rock out with now here on the playmaking side this is where i said you will add all your badge points because you see here you get your unfuckable big first step that's your end then we'll go ahead and get clan breaker we're for clan breaker go ahead and get here six get our hyperdrive boom as you see here you need to get bell out right so you get bell out you need to get badge point here for bell out but then also on top of that why not just go all out and then be able to get your um, anchor breakers all the way out. You know, get your dimer up. Like I just feel like putting as much in your playmaking as possible would be pretty OP. And then of course on the defensive side, don't even don't even stress it. Cause like I said, man, like if you want to try to get clamps and stuff on a six-two build. I want it. What I would focus on with a build like this is again, man, just making sure I can get my pick dodger. I'll core that, right? Oh, let me see. Do I get minutes? No, it's four minutes. All right. Then. Um, Pick Dodger or course, all right? Just stuff right here. Like this build is a corner sitting build anyway, so don't even put it. But but yeah, man. So let me know, man. How do you feel about this build offensively? Is it the best replica build, guard build you've seen thus far? As far as offensive heavy, there is some that kind of has more defense to it. And it was a little bit more balanced. But as far as offense, it's the absolute firepower. So let me know in the comment section. Excuse me, what you think about this? But other than that, this is your favorite O'Head Uncle Demi. I'll be back really, really soon with another banger man, you know. I say back soon with another banger. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Talking about tomorrow, man. I'm out.